Yeah. Well, in front of my face. I love that. Okay. Um, you need to <laughs> chill out fuck? for a second. I will. Really relax. Um, crazy. I got you. Fish. Yeah, you need to relax. I'm sorry. I got you fresh. Uh, <laughs> the fuck? That's not f- Hello, motherfuckers of the internet. My name is Johnny. Welcome back to my channel. Bitch. <laughs> Hopefully, you guys are having a good day or night or afternoon. Welcome back to my channel, guys. If no one said this to you today, go get your shit done, bro. But watch this video first, though. Today we're gonna be reacting Fresh and Fit and the name of the video is called We Debated Them on Why Men Don't Want Promiscuous Women. But before we begin, please give this video a like, subscribe, and comment down my the below. Alright, let's begin. Excuse me. Do I have a question? Yeah. Um, on the topic about body count. Sure. So you're saying that men don't really have a lot of sex with a lot of different women. Facts. And I've heard it that a lot of guys are asking things. Like they want to know, they want to verify a woman's body count. And so is that why, in your opinion, that you think that men... Wait, who's asking? Like, okay, let's just say, for example, you go on a date with someone and you just straight up ask, uh, what's your body count by any ch by chance? Like, who does that? Like, straight up asking, that's weird. And she will probably lie and she will probably never text you again after that date. And get really emotional when they hear the actual body count of a woman. Well, that's a new age practice because uh, I want to say this just outright. A guy with the game doesn't ask her body count. That's just like not smart yeah, at all. Yeah, it's a dumb question. But if they did that, it shows that they're very inexperienced mm. in itself. Yeah. Um, there's a biological reason why men have such an issue with uh, women that are promiscuous and women that have high body counts. And the reason for that is because before the advent of modern technology, to put it simply, if... I had sex with a girl, right? And I couldn't, and we didn't have birth control, excuse me, we didn't have um, paternity tests. I wouldn't know if the kid was mine. Mm. So the biggest fear for a man is raising a child that he thought was his and he finds out later on isn't his. Yeah, that's crazy. Right? It's like our worst fear. We're investing in resources and time and attention and love and care into offspring that isn't even ours. The only thing men really ask for is don't be a host that I can ensure that the child is mine. That's like the biggest betrayal. So that's why guys have an issue with a girl Facts. that has a high body count because the higher woman's body count, the less likely that the child is yours. I mean, I know we have paternity tests now, but you got to remember that in our animal brain, we didn't have all these modern conventions that we have now. Yeah. Right. I mean, think about it. Women still want a guy that's. Yo, back in the day, a girl could probably finesse a rich dude and say, because they slept together, they can finesse. Yeah, that's your kid. We're stuck. Damn. Back in that time, girl can finesse you and just, oh my Jesus, that is insane, bro. Think about that. Because of the modern convenience, now we can check if that's our kid or not. Strong, tall, charismatic, charming, right? But you have police. You have entertainment. You have uh, protection. You can buy your own gun. Why do you need a tall, strong guy? But it's hardwired in your brain. You still want that. <laughs> Even though we have modern conventions that solve that problem, you still <laughs> want these traits in your partner. Same thing with men. Even though we have paternity tests, we still want a girl that's not a hoe. But isn't that a mating uh, ideal uh, ide ideologue? <clears throat> it's a reproductive strategy. Oh, yeah, like you want to mate someone, mate with someone that is protective, is smart, is 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 brilliant, that can bring an offspring. Yeah, but men don't. Re so that's from the female perspective. But you the male so? perspective, it's absolutely true. I mean, uh, they've actually done studies on this. They found that. The higher woman's IQ, the less likely that she'll be married. And for every yeah, IQ, I've read that. I've heard about yeah, that. Yeah, like one. for every for every IQ point that a man goes up, his likelihood of being married goes up. Uh, for every uh, IQ point that a woman goes up, the likelihood of her being married goes down. So what does that tell you? That tells you that men don't screen for intelligence or competence or confidence or ambition. Men don't screen for these things because men don't look for survival value. Women look for survival value. So it's very important that you're with a competent partner. With us, we look for replication value. And making sure that the kid is ours. So we're looking for a young, fertile woman that isn't a whore. So why do a lot of basketball players or NBA players date a certain... Dude, those are the dudes are, uh, are, dude, are getting so much, bro. They are, gain they are getting so much, bro. You mean I like Zion? I feel like Williamson. I'm not naming anybody, <laughs> but what I'm saying is they, they date a certain type of woman and they're usually tall, you know, and we're not going to... Bro, they can, they can get whatever they want, bro. Their status... They're NBA. They can pay good. They look good. They are tall, bro. They can get. It's in, dude. Go to so the maybe we never but heard of them before. Can you specify what what um, 
demographic you're because uh, le- there's a lot of NBA players that date women that are might might not match that demographic. So can you specify what do you mean? Um, you know, like the black players, they're dating white, tall, blonde women mm-hmm. uh, that look like I don't know they could be. But that's what they're showing. But that's what they're showing you. But you're not seeing what's going on behind the scenes, bro. They're fucking getting with other chicks, bro. They're getting with other girls, bro. That's that's what they're the media is showing you, so they can be be put on a good light, and that's okay, dude. Like, dude, they're killing it on the game, but behind the scenes, dude, behind the scenes, dude, it's just wild. On OnlyFans or something like that, but I think it. Why why do they date these women? You know, youth, like youth and beauty are the most important things to men, and. To age a lot of the times ties into that. But you don't think they're breeding to make they, they other new, more basketball players? They are, for sure. I think they're breeding. They call them breeders, actually. Yeah, that's when what When they I, see a, like a tall, like pretty woman, especially like yeah, but a lot that, of them like that the only blonde. That only proves my point, that men are looking yeah. for replication They value. call them breeders. Yeah. I mean, I've heard like, the term. Like men, men have a very... Uh, uh, you know, high interest in a woman's uh, sexual appeal for, you know, for replication value. What? Are you confused about something? What? Oh, no. I think um, I wasn't I was, just talking in my mic. No. Oh, but what were you saying? I think basketball player or not, a man is trying to find a woman that's breedable. That's what I think because it's like yeah. a family line. It's like a, it's like a, an inheritance. Like you want your kids to grow up and be athletes, you know, like. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, here's the thing. <laughs> Once you're, if you're an NBA player, right, and you're really attractive and you got a bunch of girls coming after you, then you can afford to be a bit more selective and go into the weeds and say, I want a girl that's, I'm 6'10", I want a girl that's six foot. Cool. But most guys don't have that same level of ability to be that selective. So most guys will just take what they can get. So how many, so you're saying that they're taking what they could get? Most guys will take what they can get. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so at a- until you get your shit together. Whatever you can at the moment. At, at, when you're an NBA player, top 1.001%, yeah, you can afford to say, I only want to date a Swedish model that's six foot tall, that's super attractive. But what you don't see is that he's also going to go ahead and bang a girl that's five foot two. He's also going to have a mistress that's five foot five. Right. He's going to have another girl that's, you know, five seven. Four foot eight. Maybe, if he wants some strange. <laughs> So, like, <laughs> uh, so he like, wants something better. Um, She's so, on. men, you got to understand that, like, men's attraction stand. What do you mean by that? Standards are not nearly as rigid as a female's. Our thing is like, yo, is she hot? Not a whore? Okay, cool. I'll commit to her. But that's I mean, why men have such an issue with body count. Controversial question. Uh, so why do yeah. they pick Kardashians? Uh, who are you speaking it's about? It's a status thing, though. <laughs> yeah. uh, just the family. It's, uh, it's a status general. thing. I, I that's don't what it really any. is. Oh, yeah. okay. Just, I mean, just, Wait, isn't Devin Booker dating one of the Kardashians? Or am I thinking of the wrong one, bro? Oh, wait, I think Devin, Devin Booker got a thing with one of the Kardashians a while ago. I think they broke up, though, if I'm correctly. If not, let me know. Yes, are, you, are you referring to, like, maybe birthday. a Kanye West or something, or who are you referring Tristan to? Tristan Thompson? There's, there's basketball players that they've dated. I mean, Chris I think Humphreys, a couple of them have Tristan dated Thompson. basketball players. It's, so it's, it's just status. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but most but they guys... didn't have status before, right? Hmm? They didn't have status. I think Kim Kardashian was just, like, a... Brandy's like wardrobe manager or something like that. Yeah, she gained status after the Rage right. of Sex Tape, yes. Yeah. But I mean, yeah, I mean, are there, there's always exceptions to the rule, but I mean, in general, she, most guys yeah. would prefer to not wife up a promiscuous woman because it comes with issues. I mean, look at Logan Paul right now. Image is getting destroyed because he decided to get engaged with a girl that has a very shady past. Look at Will Smith. Jada Pinkett Smith has absolutely tarnished his reputation. What are your thoughts on that? I mean, it's an embarrassment. I mean, people are not going to remember him, basically. Yeah, I feel bad for Will Smith, dude. He, I, did. I love his movies. I am legend. I, robot. The projects that he was a part of were amazing. Uh, the Jada thing and the slap and everything that goes back to his wife. His reputation as an actor is going to go down because of his wife and the things that she did. And she made that public and there's a lot more things going on now it's just crazy what she did was she had sex with august who's like a teenager a kid that they i think adopted um she had an affair with him and then she went on the red table and said oh we got an entanglement didn't take accountability or whatever and this is what i tell guys i mean controversial takes or whatever but i tell men in general you should never commit to a woman that has a promiscuous past 
And the reason why is because it will rear its ugly head and absolutely destroy your reputation and your um, tarnish your legacy. People aren't going to remember Fresh Prince of Bel-Air anymore. They're not going to remember, you know, I Am Legend. Day, I Am Legend, yeah. mm -hmm. uh, Ali. They're not going to remember Seven Pounds. They're not going to remember any of these movies. They're going to remember him sitting at the edge of a red table crying because his wife decided to bang a 20-year-old, which is ridiculous. So but, the tables were turned in their situation. Usually the man wants a, a younger woman after his woman gets older, and he's the one that cheats. But the well, impact is different. Yeah, you t you're talking about yeah. like societal constraints, right? Like, it's a double standard. And, and you also yeah, got to remember that he had status. Standard. He was a musician. They, there was an emotional bond. This is a very different uh, situation. And, you know, obviously she's past her prime. She was old at that point. She didn't necessarily have the same sexual market pull that she had 20 years prior when she was dealing with someone like a Tupac. Mm -hmm. So, you know, and I'll, and I'll put it simply. Yeah, if nah. a woman cheats on her man, she's going to tarnish that man's reputation. He loses social value for that. But if a man cheats on his woman, she's not necessarily going to lose social value. If anything, I would argue she would gain social value and, uh, and and credibility by sticking by her man. Look at Kobe Bryant's wife. Vanessa Bryant. No one yeah. remembers. No one cares that he cheated on her with some other girl. They just know that she stood by him. She did. Right? She did. And she still has the, she carries the last name and she's respected for that. Yep. Beyonce. She's with Jay-Z still even after he cheated with her. She. So I would argue <laughs> that it's in a woman's best interest if you're with a higher status guy. Just stay with him because you're going to gain a better reputation for sticking by him. I know you're some girls might better. try to, please stop interrupting me. I understand that, you know, some girls <laughs> might make fun of you and say, oh, you're stupid, shit. you stay with him. I think you're stupider for leaving. Facts. So, I don't know. It's I think women gain status if they're cheated on and they stay versus if a man gets cheated on, it's an embarrassment. Yeah, it just would be harder to want to, it would just, it would be like you would lose respect for that man and lose attraction for but them. But you're not with the high value man because you respect him, honey. What? Yes. I mean, you should. You Wait, should. what? You should Gen by default, you should be respect respectful. High value right. man. No, you're but you're there to play you, a role. You're you're, you're there to be the beautiful wife to play the role. To, yeah, but so by it's default, not they, but it's not just playing it's, games. By default, you respect a man like that. It's not it's not play pretend. By no default, you, end up with you will respect a man who exemplifies it's those default characteristics. If he respects you and you get the respect back, and if you don't get the respect back, then I understand. Damn, what you coming from, my love? You just getting disrespected. Honey, no one understands what the f you're talking about this whole time. We're <laughs> just gonna video. be yeah, the fuck up. Yeah, shut up now. <laughs> you're straight up saying, bro. Just shut up. Because I'm playing with the fake accent. Uh, really? What? <laughs> I'm playing with the Yo. fake accent. And you're not the first, and you will not uh, be the last. And it's okay. And I won't be the last to beat your why there's so much animosity right now bitch dude what's up with her dude every time she talks she gets someone mad cena almost fought her and now this chick almost fought her guys frank castle bro frank castle i barely said anything she's triggered by the mother comment that i made because it was a fact she doesn't Guys, she doesn't respect her I'm man. Sorry. I'm uh, Can you um, yo, just chill yo. out for two seconds? <laughs> oh, uh, shit. I will chill for two hey, seconds hey, hey, because listen. I can chill. Please, I right. accent. Please sit down. Oh, right. my yeah, God. What is she doing? Yeah. 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 All right. Yeah. Just, just how we letting everybody know hey, you hey. fake. Because I could have hey. yeah, 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 yeah. say yeah, yeah, nothing. Okay. Oh, uh, shit. Well, in front of my face. I love that. Okay. Um, you need to chill <laughs> out fuck? for two seconds. Yeah, I you will. Need to really relax. She um, is crazy. I got you. Yeah, you need to relax. I'm sorry. I got you fresh. Uh, <laughs> the fuck? That's not fresh. <laughs> yeah. His right. name isn't fresh. <laughs> I wasn't talking to you, no, love. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> What the fuck is wrong with this chick, dude? What the fuck? Yo, with that said, guys, please give this video a like, subscribe, and comment down, motherfucker.